welcome back to another video and I'm actually starting to realize that I start off a lot of my videos in the garage but I mean what can I say it's it's literally my second home but anyway it's been a while since I've talked to you guys for a bit um probably gonna be the same thing no not really though but anyway today is going to be sort of a jam-packed video because I have to fix a car which I'm just replacing the fender I gotta do that and then I might go for a ride on the Harley. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't really know what's there to come, but we'll see what's there to come. I gotta move the Trailblazer, I gotta move the Safari. I'll get a startup for you guys right now. Um, I just gotta move a bunch of cars so then I can actually work in the garage. So yeah. All right, let's do this. How many miles do we have in here? We have 86,000 miles. All right, let's do this. <laughs> God, the straight pipe sounds so good. <sighs> All right, well, time to move it. Now we got the good old Safari. <sighs> let's see how many miles Safari has. Um, so if you don't know, we got a new engine for it. So. Safari has 87,000 miles. The engine has about 4,000 miles, almost 4,000 miles. So let's get the start up. Nice. It's not as loud as the Blazer by all means, but Safari looks badass. So it always has. If you enjoy this type of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So with that being said, now we wait. I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing, but I got my apple. I got my apple. We're doing good. We're doing good. Thank God I got that fan on. My watch says it's 81, but either way, it's hot as shit. Thank God I was able to find the wire and get the fan on. All right, here's the car. And this is what I'm going to be tackling today. They have the new fender in the back seat, so I'm going to take it out and actually check if it fits. But this is a fender I'm going to be replacing. Luckily, right, you can, like, th this was real lucky that it was just, just the fender. Um, I still need to pop the hood and see the damage, but yeah. So I got the part, I got the piece out. Now I gotta, how the hell do I open this hood? <laughs> I have no idea how to fucking open this hood. And it is very hot. Oh wow, god damn. Um, uh, I found it. Cool. Okay, so it really is just the fender. We're gonna have to bend it right there to actually get to that screw. Um, okay, I see where it is. So, alright, hold up. I gotta put my phone down so I can prop this up. Alright, perfect. Got it all up. This is what we're replacing. The new one is in here. Very light. Okay. Ow. Stupid staple. All right. Cool. The fender's in here. All right. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna put the camera down because I gotta take this out. All right. So here's the fender. Um, it's a 16 Civic. Um. It looks, it looks good. It looks like it'll fit. The only thing is, I really hope I do not have to take off the front bumper. But I'm going to see right now. I might, I think I do have to take off the rims just so it's easier. Um, uh, do I?
right, so I just need that corner, but because it was crashed in, I can't really take it off the way you normally would because it's really like, it's just, it's, it, it, it was just like really fucked up in many places. So I need to cut that and then I'm gonna, and then I need to take it out. And then after that, then I'm pretty much done. I just move all the clips onto the new fender, pop everything back in, screw everything back in. And boom, we're done. That's it. Um, I'm waiting for the compressor to fill up so I can actually cut that off. But yeah, um, this was this took a lot quicker than I thought. So I gotta cut that now. I'm not done yet though. This fender is very weird and bad and everything is not the right proportions or dimensions. Um, but I'm going to come back to this later and go to the Pratt and the Harley. So yeah, I gotta wash up a lot and, and then we'll go for a ride. All right, it's now some time later and a little change of plans. I'm not going for a ride. Well, I didn't go for a ride. Those you would have saw that footage. So now we're just this this fender has really been a bitch, so we're just trying to finish this up. So I already got the old one off. But the new one has this big ass gap. Right? That's that's not good. And then that too. Alright, well, as you saw, that was the final product to the Fender. I did, well, my dad actually helped me because he is the pro. Um, I learned from him, but we did the best as we, that we can because it, it wasn't an original Fender, so it didn't have all of the brackets, but it had like some of the important ones, but it still needed the rest. But we had to put it on as best as we can so that's as best as we were able to get it a lot of stuff still isn't lining up properly um like the body lines aren't lining up properly but um i think it came out really good um it definitely looks a lot better than when it was crashed but that's pretty much it with that being said i hope you enjoyed today's video i know I didn't get to ride the Harley today, but that's fine. Um, I was working on this all day. It's been a bitch all day. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm beat. But with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoy videos like this or my motorcycle videos, let me know in the comments below. So let me know what you guys want to see and I will deliver to the best of my ability, of course. Um, <laughs> But with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.